Welcome to this presentation on the shared mental model in VATS lobectomy teams. These are my disclosures. So introduction of VATS lobectomy was slow and one of the main concerns uh, for many years was um, the risk of major intraoperative uh, complications. Um, surgeons um, were uh, concerned about mastering uh, the technical skills and it took a long time for the surgical community to introduce vatslobectomy. Focus has for many years been on the surgeon and how the surgeon learns the procedure. Um, we have published several uh, papers on this issue over the years but one of the issues that have not had enough focus in this uh, learning process is uh, the teamwork, which is essential for success. This is a definition of a team um, by a Canon Bowers, a group of two or more individuals who must interact cooperatively and adaptively in the pursuit of a shared value objective. Further team members have clearly defined differentiated roles and responsibilities, hold task relevant knowledge and are independent. When we look at the VATS team, we have a surgical team with the thoracic surgeon and the assisting surgeon. We have an anesthesia team with an anesthesiologist and an anesthesiologist nurse. The nurse team is usually consists of a scrub nurse and a floor nurse. There are different concerns among the VATS team members. The surgical teams are usually concerned about their technical skills, avoiding interoperative complications such as bleeding, to perform an oncologically safe operation, performing osseo resection, sufficient lymph node dissection, and they're concerned about the procedural time. The anesthesia team, on the other hand, is focused on the intubation, especially if there's a difficult intubation, providing sufficient uh, one lung ventilation, providing sufficient mu muscle relaxation, uh, to increase the space for the surgeon and maintaining sufficient cardiovascular function and oxygenation of tissues. The nurse team are concerned about providing the advanced instruments for the surgeon, the technical challenges that may arise during surgery with the VATS tower and the cameras and to prepare for emergencies to have the thoracotomy tray and uh, equipment available for a potential conversion. So medical error is, uh, has a lot of focus on in the recent years. It, this paper states it's the third leading cause of death in the US and 10 to 15 uh, percent of patients who are in hospital may experience uh, an, um, an error. We all know the model of the Swiss cheese so if more errors are made at the same time this may actually um, turn into a catastrophe um, so we have to remember that to err is human and we have to do our best uh, to prevent those errors and we do that the best way if we work as a team so we looked at this in a PhD thesis of Kirsten Gehrl recently. Um, the first paper in this thesis was a systematic review and one of the papers in this systematic review is this paper looking at bariatric uh, surgery, uh, working with fixed teams. And actually working with a fixed team could reduce procedural time with 10% without an adverse effect on patient outcomes. The Oxford Notex system has defined um, a, an assessment tool for evaluating uh, non-technical skills. And there are uh, four topics. The first topic is leadership and management. Uh, it's important to have a clear uh, leadership and to maintain uh, standards, to plan and prepare, to have a workload load management and have a clear authority and 
or assertiveness. Teamwork and cooperation, team building, relaxed, supportive, open, inclusive atmosphere uh, and avoid uh, competition, support each other, help each other in the team, give feedback, understand what the other team members need and be um, efficient in conflict solving. Problem solving and decision making is important for it's important to um, use all the resources uh, to analyze uh, and to make the right uh, decision to risk assess and to have an outcome overview. Situation awareness is important to consider all the element in the current situation to know the capabilities of your team and to think one step ahead or more steps ahead all the time. Uh, this uh, assessment tool uh, uh, has uh, uh, one to four points, four being excellent and one being below uh, standard. We looked at the shared mental model and the definition of a shared mental model is a knowledge structure held by members of a team that enable them to form accurate explanations and expectations for the task and in turn to co coordinate their actions and adapt their behavior to demand to the demands of the task and other team members. In other words, it's very important that the entire team is on the same page and know where we're going. So we did this um, uh, study as the second study in, in Kirsten Gao's uh, thesis. Um, we interviewed 21 participants uh, in uh, VATS teams from all four thoracic surgery centers in Denmark. It was an exploratory semi-structured interview and data analysis was deductive and directed content analysis was used to code the text into the Oxford non-technical skills system for evaluating operating teams and non-technical skills. And these six topics for non-technical skills were identified, planning, preparation, situation awareness, problem solving, leadership, risk assessment and teamwork. They come together in the shared mental model and um, these are some of the examples from the interview in the planning and preparation uh, skills. Some from the team said we have a group timeout with all team members to plan and prepare and to uh, create a shared mental model and for situation awareness an example could be we listen to the surgeon's tone if he is mourning or if he's happy uh, then we know how how well surgery is being uh, performed at the moment if there are problems or not so in conclusion six specific non-technical skills were perceived by the VATS team um, and these non-technical skills served as antecedents for the overarching theme of a shared mental model. The shared mental models of the patient, the current situation and team resources would enable the team to anticipate problems, hence being crucial to patient safety. So the last paper in the thesis, we looked at the shared mental model in the four uh, thoracic centers in Denmark and um, 50 64 batslobectomies were observed and the teams were uh, interviewed uh, pre-operative and post-operative by questionnaires uh, and all in all uh, 172 uh, members of teams participated. Looked at familiarity between the team members, technical skills perception and non-technical skills perception. And interestingly uh, the surgeon knew his team the best, and and they were, uh, and the team um, knew the surgeon. Uh, so there was a, a, a very high um, 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 coordinates between uh, the two. Um, when you looked at the technical skills perception, the self-assessment of the surgeon was five point six four in the team perception was 5.4 so there, again there were a good coordinates between the two but when we look at non-technical skills uh, 
there was a significant difference between how the team members perceived the non-technical skills of the surgeon and the surgeon self-assessment. But still, um, the evaluation was rather high. It's a one to seven point Likert scales, and it was uh, between five and six. When we look at the assistant surgeon, uh, the technical skills perception of the assistant surgeon was was lower among team members than the self-assessment. Again, looking at the anesthesiologist, the non-technical skills perception um, was higher in the self-assessment than uh, according to the team members. This is another way of illustrating this. So the dark arrow shows that there is uh, agreement with the team uh, assessment and the, the members uh, self-assessment. Looking at the challenges that surgeons and uh, team members um, perceive during the procedure, uh, there are different problems. The surgeons mainly considering dissection, adhesions, bleeding, uh, a challenge. This is the same for the assistant surgeon, but the assistant surgeon is also focused on, on the camera, getting the camera cleaned, getting a sufficient overview for the surgeon. The scrub nurse was mainly concerned about her own experience level, and uh, the floor nurses were concerned about stress when there were several shifts and handovers. Anesthesiologists considered uh, it a problem uh, if there were problems with intubation, placement of the endobronchial tube, ventilation or hemodynamic uh, disturbances uh, secondary to bleeding and the uh, anesthesia, anesthesia nurse uh, um, had similar, similar problems. So when we look at the team members awareness of other team members problems we can see that when the an anesthetist has problems, the surgeon is the one that's most aware. And when the surgeon has problems, the one that's the most aware is actually the assisting surgeon. Again, remember, with teamwork, we can obtain success that we could not do on our own. Thank you very much for your attention.